Today we're going to talk about sizing, piping, and tubing systems. This is a very basic part of Unit 8. Starting on a very simplified diagram, the first step we need to determine what the longest measured run or the LMR is in the application. Looking at the diagram, we can see here that we have a 75,000 BTU furnace down at the end. We have 30 feet of pipe, 15 feet of pipe, 10 feet of pipe, and 10 feet of pipe. That adds up to 65 feet. Uh, that's the longest measured run in this example. Step number two, we need to determine the total gas input required from the appliances in the piping system. So back to our diagram again, we are going to add up all the BTU requirements of all the appliances. We have a 35,000 BTU water heater up top, a 40,000 BTU dryer, and a 75,000 BTU furnace for a total of 150,000 BTUs. So to summarize, step number three, our LMR that we found is 65 feet, and our total gas load is going to be 150,000 BTUs. Because we're in between table values, when we go to pick our table, we're going to uh, go to 70 feet, which we'll talk about in a second. Next, we're going to determine from our what diagram that we need to use. The first thing we need to determine is what type of fuel we're using in this example, propane or natural gas. The system pressure, in this case, we're looking at 7 to 14 inches water column, of natural gas. And finally, what material the piping or tubing system is constructed of. In this particular case, the whole example is constructed of Schedule 40 pipe. Again, back to our diagram, you can see that I've got a block arrow showing me all of the information that I needed on the previous slide, which is going to help us pick out our table. The next step, obviously, is picking out the appropriate table in the B149.1 code book. The table we come up with is Table A2, and if you read through that header, the maximum capacity of natural gas thousands of BTUs per hour for Schedule 40 pipe and plastic pipe, which includes fittings for pressures of 7 inches up to 14 inches water column based on a pressure drop of 1 inch water column. So that gets all of the things that we're looking for for this particular example. A lot of students really have problems picking the right and appropriate table. Make sure you take a second to read through that you're on the correct table. There's nothing worse than doing the whole piping example, doing everything perfectly, but using the wrong table because you get the wrong answers and you'll get no marks for that. The table blown up at this point, obviously it looks like this. Uh, I'm going to shrink that table down so that we're able to kind of see the numbers that we're after. But the actual page number that you should be on is page 118 in the B149.1-15 code book. Taking a section of that table, we can see at this point, table A2, we've got the length of pipe down here in the left-hand column, starting in 10-foot increments. Now, as we mentioned, our longest measured run was going to be 65 feet. So we're going to come down here, and in between 60 and 70 feet at that point is actually where we want our numbers to be. Your worst-case scenario is always going to be a longer measured, uh, sorry, a longer our longest measured pipe run, which is going to be 70 feet in this case, because we're in between table values. So even if we were at 61 feet, we would still go to 70 feet. The only time we go back to that shorter run is when that number lands exactly on or is less than that number. So 61, 62, 63, 68, 69 feet, doesn't matter. It all goes to 70 foot code zone. So what we're going to do at that point, because we're going to use the 70 foot code zone, Again, because we have the longest measure run, which is already in here, we're going to be able to utilize, and I've highlighted the 70-foot code zone, our first appliance at that point that we have, if we start back at the furnace first. So in other words, we're looking at a 75,000 BTU appliance. This pipe and this pipe here, this 30-footer and this 15-footer, both serve the 75,000 BTU appliance. How big does that pipe need to be? When we go back at the 70 foot application, because we only had 75,000 BTUs, we're able to utilize a half inch pipe with a capacity of 79,000 BTUs. These tables do not have the three zeros behind them. It's assumed that we know that there's three zeros behind the capacity of each of these numbers. So a half inch pipe has a capacity of 79,000 BTUs. 
if that furnace, for, for instance, had an input of 85,000 BTUs, we would have to step up our gas pipe to that particular appliance to three quarter inch because we're exceeding the 79,000 BTUs of capacity. Because we only have 75,000 capacity, we're able to get away with a half inch line for that particular example. So we've sized out this 15 footer and this 30 footer coming down to this appliance are both gonna be half inch. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna size a line down to the 40,000 BTU gas dryer. Now, same type of application, we're still gonna use the 70 foot code zone and because the BTU to that appliance is only 40,000 BTU, that line will be able to be half inch as well. So again, with a capacity of 79,000, we are able to have a half inch line which comes down here to appropriately uh, serve that BTU 40,000 BTU dryer along with the 75,000 BTU furnace. So we've got half inch coming up here, half inch across, a half inch coming up here. Now, at this point, this pipe here, this 10 footer, has to serve 40,000 and 75,000 BTUs of equipment. So we're gonna add those two inputs together. So at that point, we're looking at 115,000 BTUs. So again, back to my table, at the 70 foot code zone, I'm gonna go until I see a number, uh, obviously that's gonna be above uh, that application, or 115,000 BTUs. So three quarter inch will work perfectly in that application. So I can put three quarter inch pipe in at this point. So we're gonna have half inch coming up, half inch coming across, half inch branching down to the dryer, three quarter inch at this point. Going up to my water heater off my main, again, I'm looking at a 14 footer that needs to serve 35,000 BTUs. So having that 35,000 BTUs, again, we're still gonna remain on the 70 foot code zone. Half inch will work because 79,000 well exceeds the 35,000 that we need for that particular appliance. The final piece at this point that we're going to size is going to be the 10 footer that serves the fuel for all of the appliances. So now we're going to take all of the BTUs of the equipment, all that up together, at which point we're looking at 150,000 BTUs. And again, at 70 foot code zone, three quarter inch will do just fine at 166,000 BTUs. So three quarter inch would be what we would use from the meter coming in on that first pipe. Keep in mind, these are minimum pipe sizes. It's always a good code of practice to put in a little large. A lot of technicians, especially in older homes, you always used to see this first pipe coming into the house always as a one inch capacity. Because if a customer decides that they're gonna add on an appliance to this particular system, they now have the capacity of being able to add that appliance without having to alter all of the gas piping right back to the gas meter. 